Well, people around Albuquerque are sounding off on what kind of reforms they would like to see APD undertake. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live with the results of a city poll. Annalisa. Well, more than 10,000 people responded to this online survey. I think the big takeaway is uh, that, you know, when I and other counselors ran for re-election just last summer, the big issue was how fast can we hire more cops? In just one year, you see that survey is now changing to how fast can we slow hiring cops and hire more social workers and interveners in other places? When asked if the city should prioritize hiring more police officers or increasing funding for community programs, a vast majority supported investing in community groups. People also ranked policy changes that would lower APD's budget. 51% of respondents said APD should not respond to non-emergency calls like minor accidents and lost property, taking those reports by phone or online instead. People we talked to today had differing views on whether money should be taken away from APD but agree they'd like to see more officers in the community. The um, precinct in the community needs to know what's going on in the community that they are responsible for. What are the concerns of the citizens? Um, just answer general questions that would maybe make the community feel safer. Interaction would be very good, especially with teenagers. And uh, maybe this will keep a lot of these kids from drugs. When asked about police reforms, they'd support 81% supported every officer undergoing a bias prevention training. 56% of people supported banning local law enforcement from using military equipment. And about two thirds of people think chokeholds should be banned. Now the, the survey is still open for people to participate until the end of the month. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now, Davis says the City Council will use this data when discussing APD's budget in July and the City's budget in August.